So, when did you first notice you were having trouble with your mental health? I think, I, I think I've always had uh, sort of, I don't have mental health problems as a child, but I always felt like a, quite a sad child, lonely, didn't really play football or anything, always the outsider. So I think I started quite young feeling sort of left out and bullied and things. But when I really first noticed that something was wrong, I think I was 25, 26 years old, first baby come along and then it's the realization that you kind of got to grow up now. And spoke to the doctor and he was like, yeah, I've been telling you, <laughs> this is not a physical issue. You've got more going on, this depression and put me on a course of tablets. And that's when I sort of, it was a way of mental health, I think, properly. You certainly don't notice the build-up. Um, I was 35, and um, a, a sequence of events happened, including um, a change of employment that didn't end too well, um, relative dying, and um, yeah, it was just, there was a lot going on, and um, I just started feeling really bad. and. Um, didn't notice at first until you start driving along and you're crying, you're like, it's a bit bizarre and then, you know, negative thoughts come in with regards to suicide and um, sort of kept it under wraps. It's like, I can sort this out. It, it, initially it was like, am I broken? Yeah. Um, so there, there's a shame involved then as well. So yeah. you, you don't tell anyone. So it's like mine and the wife's secret. Um, you, you look for things to do to sort of remedy it. And, but yeah, um, the shame is a big thing for me. Um, uh, I, I, and the ability to then speak out once you know is important, I think. Yeah, and I think sometimes well, people's, it's not even the stereotypical man up, it's, it's almost the poly up together as or oh, I'll go back to work on Monday, you'll be fine. Hmm. Well, it's been six months now, it's still not fine. <laughs> you know? I still yeah. don't feel... But when's the end to it? But then you attract negative things because you're constantly thinking negative. So yeah. that's all that comes. Yeah. So. Let's talk men's mental health. No pressure, no judgment, no stigma.